In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome as we gather to celebrate Mass today. We begin by calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, we too may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I have proclaimed to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions, so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response is Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him all you angels, praise him all you his hosts. Alleluia. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven and earth. Alleluia. Alleluia. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will ask.
ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, you can imagine how heartbroken the disciples were on the night of the Last Supper when they knew that Jesus would be leaving them because they had been together for quite some time, for a number of years, and they'd gotten to know each other. And so they found it extremely difficult to, to bid farewell to the one that they love so much. But Jesus goes out of his way to comfort them, console them. He tells them that he will not leave them orphaned, but rather that he would send the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to guide them and to lead them into the truth. That he wouldn't be with them like physically, but in another way, in a more powerful way, he would be with them through the Holy Spirit. And very soon we'll be celebrating the great feast of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came upon them in the upper room and they were changed people. They were no longer fearful, uh, but rather they went forth and very courageously proclaimed the good news of the risen Lord. As we live through these difficult weeks trying to adjust to a new way of living, the Holy Spirit is very much at work in our lives too. Despite the different restrictions, the wearing of a mask and the importance of social distancing, other things are emerging too that may not have been as evident before. For example, I find that people are very mindful of each other, mindful of other people's needs, and are willing to extend themselves in so many different ways to, uh, to, to share their, their resources or, or just to spend time with others. They're very conscious of what other people are going through, perhaps because we're all in the same boat. Also, this is a time when families have been getting together, I realize that in some instances there may be tensions and difficulties, but for the most part, it gives families a time to, to spend uh, together and maybe to share an evening meal together and again, to be mindful of what is going on in their lives. But it certainly has helped us to, to look at our priorities again and see what is important. So as we anticipate the great feast of Pentecost, we ask the Holy Spirit to be with us to inspire us during these difficult times. We now stand for our prayers of the faithful. Let us now bring before God the prayers of our faith community today. our Holy Church. May the Holy Spirit continue to deepen our love for God 
and strengthen our relationship with him, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all government leaders and workers, may God sustain them in wisdom and understanding, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from addictions or dependencies, may God light, God's light be with them and may he help them in their struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community as we near the end of the Easter season, may God's grace continue to bring us to a deeper relationship with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in eternal peace especially Paul Virchow, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are ill at this time, especially Hildegard Hammond, mother of Vanessa Gibbs. May God keep them in his loving care. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. Loving God, your grace surrounds us. Hear the prayers we offer today as we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away in my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, Lord, God God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Arthur, our Bishop, and Kevin, our Bishop-elect, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world, have have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Amen. Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Together now we pray an act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the Blessed, blessed Sacrament. I love, I love you above all, all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since, Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already become, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a very peaceful and pleasant day today.